Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim HaKakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, I want to go on to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3. And I'm going to entitle this lesson, The Separation and Transgression of Israel. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him and become another man's, shall she return unto him again? Shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to, uh, to me. Say the Lord, lift up thine eyes unto the high places, and see where thou hast not been lean with. In the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness, and thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Therefore the showers have been withholden, there have been no light of rain, and thou hast a horse forehead, thou refusest to be ashamed. Wilt thou not from this time cry unto me, my father, thou art the guide of my youth? Will he reserve his anger forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. The Lord said also unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She is going up upon every high mountain and under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. And I said, After she had done all these things, turn thou unto me, but she, refute, but she returned not. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it, and I saw, when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I put her away, and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass, through the lightness of her order, that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and stocks. And yes, the children of Israel, or the Israelites, you know, we committed iniquity. We transgressed against the Most High by worshiping other gods. Hence the reason why we have to go into captivity so many different times. And Israel is referring to the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and the treacherous sister Judah as referring to the Southern Kingdom, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the Southern Kingdom, because there was a split. The 12 tribes were split in the two kingdoms, the Northern and Southern Kingdom. I'm going to continue on. And yet, for all this, her transcript and Yet for all this, her treacherous sister Judah hath not turned unto me with her whole heart, but faintly saith the Lord, yes. We didn't come back. We didn't turn back to the Lord with our whole heart. I'm going to get to you one. Verse 11, And the Lord said unto me, The backsliding Israel had justified herself more treacherous than Judah. More than treacherous Judah slack you. Go and proclaim these words towards the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will make, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power. Just like you.
and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and to a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And yes, the Most High is married unto us. The children of Israel are the Most High's bride. And in this particular verse, it's referring to the elect. Because only certain people will be chosen to receive salvation. I'm going to continue on. Verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yes, we will have teachers in this time. Not the pastors in these churches or in these other false religions, but men that actually know the scriptures teachers such as the apostles and elders of great millstone who have the 100% truth they're going to feed us with knowledge and understanding continuing on verse 16 and it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days said the Lord they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord neither shall it come to mind neither shall they remember it neither shall they visit it Neither shall that be done any more. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. Neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. Yes, once the kingdom of heaven is established, Jerusalem is going to be the headquarters of the world. That's going to be the throne of the Lord, as it is written. And Israel will no longer transgress. We're never going to transgress again. We're going to be perfect. We're going to be immortal. We're going to have those perfect bodies. So we're never going to sin again. Verse 18. In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. And yes, the northern and southern kingdom are going to come back together again and be one nation. Verse 19, But I said, how shall I put thee among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the host of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father and shalt not turn away from me. Surely as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me. O house of Israel, saith the Lord, a voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their power. Return ye, backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our power, truly in vain. Is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains truly in the Lord our power is salvation for Israel and yes in these last days the elect that's, that's the only thing we truly have and I'm not numbering myself amongst that but I hope I'm numbered amongst the elect but that's the only thing that we truly have in these last days hope for salvation you know the believers we have hope for salvation and salvation only is for the nation of Israel no other nation it's only for the children of Israel verse 24 for shame hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth their flocks and their herds their sons and their daughters. We lie down 
and our shame, and our confusion covereth us, for we have sinned against the Lord, our power, we and our fathers from our youth, even unto this day, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, our power, and yes, that's the reason why we're going through this current captivity, because we transgress when Moses gave us the law, after we were delivered out of the land of Egypt, ancient Egypt, we we didn't hearken unto the words that were given. We didn't follow the law, statutes, commandments. Hence the reason why the Lord cursed us. But he's given us basically hope for salvation in this time. He's going to deliver his leg in this time. But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say Shalom to the whole elect. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till the next time, Shalom.